Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan Sneaks, and today I'm going to be doing the custom on these Vans Old School Zips. I picked these up on Amazon for 50 bucks. I'll go ahead and link them in the description in case you want to pick these up. Uh, it's, overall, it's a really nice sneaker, but I picked these up because I missed up on the opening ceremony Vans collaboration where they had the pink and the light blue ones. I totally missed out. I didn't even know what was happening, and then when I saw them, they sold out in my size. So I went ahead and picked these up, picked up some paint. And I'll show you all the paint I'm using, and I just had to mix some stuff to get that right pink, but I did it, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on these and walk out through it all. Alright, so for the first step here, we're going to want to remove the laces just so we don't get anything on them, uh, be that paint or acetone. You really don't want to get anything on these. Uh, paint would be okay, I guess, since we're going to end up painting these later. But just to be safe, we always want to remove that. And if, and if you can, always try to remove the insole. Uh, in this case, the Vans one right here is kind of connected in there, so I don't want to take that out. But I think the black one should be fine. But always try to remove the laces. The next thing you're going to need is either cotton balls or cotton rounds, even maybe like a rag. Uh, what we're going to do is use this acetone, which I picked up from Target. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is just rub it all over the shoe just to take that uh, finish off from the factory. And then plus right here with this black, we're going to really need that to come off as much as possible. And then we're going to paint that white just so we can paint over it. this logo white. I, uh, the reason we're going to be doing this is because it's black and when you put that light pink color that we're going to be using on top of this, uh, it's really not going to come out well. So we're going to go ahead and use the white. Uh, the white I'm going to be using is the Angelus white. This is the go-to paint for any kind of shoe thing I do. Uh, if it's touch-ups, if I'm just doing a little custom, I'm always using the Angelus one because that's what I've had best results with. You can use the flat white or white. It doesn't really matter for this because it's just going to be the base coat. Um, but we're going to be using the duller agent later on to make sure it's like a matte finish. But for this, you can use either or. If you have the dull, uh, flat white, you can go ahead and use it. This one works just the same. And let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to give you a little break and I'm going to do the second coat and then I'll hop back to here when we're mixing the paint so I can show you what I did exactly to get that paint that I'm going to be using. Okay, so now that I got the three coats over it, I ended up doing three just because at two you could kind of still see it, but here at three it's pretty much looking like it goes right in with it and it looks completely white. You don't really see anything else. So that helps um, with the paint going on it and looking right so it doesn't get darker or anything. And what I did to make this paint, which is a really light pink, all I did was mix fire red and white. Um, you can also get, it's called Petal Pink off Angelus. Uh, I'll link that one in the description. This is probably the closest that you can get to this. I would still add white to Petal Pink, but to get this one, it had to be a lot lighter than what I had. And also, with this, I'm going to end up using some Dollar just to make it a matte finish. I could have mixed it with flat white, I guess, but I wanted to make sure it was completely flat and not mix it with like a fire red. Uh, so what you're going to do with this Dollar is I already mixed it in the white because you need to use a lot of white and not too much of the red. I used a whole bottle of white and about four drops of fire red maybe just because I'm trying to get this color right here. It's like an off whitish pink, really, really light. That's the same color as the opening ceremonies and I wanted to get this color for these vans. So it's just a little bit of the fire red and the white, or you could use petal pink and add some white to it. But like I was saying, you're going to want to use this duller and not use too much. It recommends 5 to 8%. Um, I'm probably going to go about 10 just because I want it to be a good matte finish. So just kind of eyeball it and just pour a little bit. And it's pretty thick, so it's hard to mess up. So I put like four drops in there, and we'll see how that goes. And what you're going to want to do is just shake it up. Make sure it gets all in there and activates because you don't want it to be just clumped on the bot on the bottom. So just make sure you shake it up. And in my case, I like to mix it. You just make sure you get it all in there. And I'm going to use my big brush for this one just because I'm using it for the whole shoe. So let's get into it. third coat on it as you can see it gets a little bit darker it wasn't as light as it was 
Uh, this is like the perfect pink that I needed it to be. I also did the bottom right here. I didn't do the outsole. The outsole I left with the gum bottom. I want, I want it to be the exact same as them, so I wish I could. I'm just kind of nervous that it's doing it. Plus, it's on the bottom, and I don't want it to rub off. So I might just leave it the way it is and just deal with it. Uh, maybe later, once I can clean these up or something, I'll put a sole protector on it and paint it, and then it'll just be the way it is. Um, but this is what it looks like so far, and it's really how I like it. At the end, I'm going to detail this and uh, make it white again so you can see the Vans logo. I'm just going to put acetone and rub it off with the Q-tip. Uh, here is already done. So this is pretty much done on this shoe. I have no complaints. Uh, I still need to hit up a couple spots like right here. I'm still letting it dry. Uh, this is after that third coat. I just jumped ahead a little bit because my card was getting full and I didn't want to bore you out with a whole bunch of time lapse in there. So this has been about like an hour into it. The second one I haven't really started. But I'm going to get started on that one right now. I'm leaving the zip white. I did get paint on it, but the paint will rub off easily. So I'm leaving this as a detail, but I'm going to be dyeing laces pink with the GAC 900, which I have right here. All you gotta do is mix that in with it. It's just a fabric. Uh, it just kinda like loosens the paint so it doesn't stick as hard. But yeah, this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna get started on the second one and then I'll finish up the detailing on this and then I'll throw y'all on foot. Okay, so this is after the third coat on All right, and here's a finished product. It came out exactly the way I wanted it. It's a little bit darker than the opening ceremony, which I'll picture right now. 
But these are something that I really wanted to do for Easter and just something that I thought would be cool to do. And it was really fun to do it as well. And it's also pretty fun to do this editing and uh, all doing something different for the channel. So what I'm gonna do is give you a little 360 view with these and then I'm gonna throw them on foot and that'll be the end of it. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.